can here. We do. You love the beer in the can, right? Well, we've liked some. No, I mean, you love the idea. We like the. We we're the we're looking for that. Uh, yeah, that's our. That's one of our quests. One of our holy grails. Well, one of our uh, devoted. Wow. <laughs> one of our devoted listeners uh, knows that we are also on that quest and brought us the beer that we have for this day on uh, our Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And we are about a canned beer today, which uh, we should just say a beer that comes in a can. That's right. That's what we're looking yeah. for. So uh, this is the uh, Imperial Java Stout from Santa Fe Brewing Company. Uh, remarkably located in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Really? And, uh, yes. That's strange. So it's and it's brewed with uh, actual uh, coffee. Yeah, organic uh, Timor coffee beans, East okay. Timor and uh, New Guinea, New Guinea Good. coffee beans. I have, I don't know, and, and I have a lot of coffee history, but I don't know if I've ever had any Timor coffee. I Maybe would, a I sample say, roast here and I there. I would say you've probably had some Timor it's coffee beans. Been a while, if I have. Yeah. Okay, but it's New Guinea, very familiar with that. Yeah. Very familiar with New Guinea coffees. Usually, I don't. Do, do you, are you guys carrying anything down Not there? Not right now. We there? don't have any Papua New Guinea. Okay. Um, just haven't found a lot out of there lately. But yeah, no. Right now, we don't. We don't have anything. Okay. So we like the uh, design on this can, uh, anyways, because uh, if it's before noon, it has a little coffee cup. That's right. But if it's afternoon, there's a beer mug. That's right. That means this beer That's is good it anytime. Be. That's right. You can always use it, and uh, as long we, as you're before or afternoon. <laughs> Wait, but never at dusk. <laughs> never at dusk. <laughs> never That's at right. Dusk. Never at dusk. We need to uh, thank uh, listener Gary for uh, bringing thank this beer. Again, I have Gary. had it uh, for a little bit. Uh, just hadn't gotten around to tasting it because it is, uh, since it's an imperial stout, it's going to probably be a little bit stronger. So we were kind of looking for the right time. So hopefully this is the right time. Let's hope so. <laughs> we'll find out pretty soon here. Well, like I said, uh, at Noble Hops the other day, I wasn't necessarily thinking that it was the time for a, a stout, but it was a good stout. So it was... Yeah. And what was the it stout was a you good had? time? Uh, Dragoon Brewery, uh, their Uno stout, and and it was delicious. And, and it was uh, quite you good. can get growlers of that, and right? Right? You can get huge growlers of that, right? Down I'm hoping. Just, I'm hoping I can get a growler of that. But you said actually, no, no. Sounds like you can't. Darn but it. hopefully, maybe they'll uh, do more of that soon because I haven't even gotten a taste of it. So yeah, it's it's. You quite could have brought me a sip. And fortunately, because the other two beers I had weren't all that good, and that was the one I ended on. So. That was a great. It was a good then beer drinking experience, experience, then. experience, like we talked about. The last, the last one is. The Do one you want to say what you didn't like? Well, then they did. I mean, I had the, I had the Saint, uh, the, the Lupulin on draft, <laughs> which, um, I, you know, I, the, there was almost too many choices, but there weren't enough that really intrigued me, and the one that really intrigued me, they were out of. So, oh, that's always uh, a bummer. It was a bummer. So I had to, in, in a pinch, you know, I'm sitting there and I was under pressure, and I went. Uh, with, I'll take the yeah because there was one I asked about and they said well I've had people tell me it's like uh, drinking beer and Seven Up I'm like well that's not what I want it was Ooh. something from uh, um, really? Bisbee Brewing Company okay and then there was another one I tried from Bisbee Brewing Company which was their IPA which I was like nah not so much and it was but like, I just had a sample of that it I was like beer and slice yeah, <laughs> yeah and that was better <laughs> that was so slightly Coke. better so but no that was good the Dragoon Uno I highly recommend give that a, give definitely give that a shot when you get a chance. I almost need a monitor that's a little bigger, so we can actually. I'm okay. like, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, okay, what am I doing? How am I looking Ooh. on that screen? But I can't quite see. Holy gosh, that's a lot of. I head. poured it on the side too. There is just wow. There, look just at that. Dump that in like. No, that? I didn't though. Whoa. Did you see how I did that? That is. There is just a massive that amount is of carbonation. A hundred percent head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I've never seen that that'll be starting filming summer of 2012 100% head that's 100% the head. Uh, that's the new porno movie that's the new movie that you have coming out <laughs> oh your white tablecloth is in danger alright yeah, 90% <laughs> that's hilarious I the I poured, getting that I poured it on the side look at well mine's dear lord that's insane. that is such a light it's a lightweight glass. It's so light. It's <laughs> so weird. For having that much liquid in it, I wouldn't expect it to feel that light. Wow. I mean, I'm not exaggerating. There, I could not see any beer. No, at the I couldn't of either. That. It was all. And I poured foam. right on the side of the glass, like in. Like I have never seen that much carbonation, and it's holding around pretty good too. You have to do the old SpongeBob. Two hours, hours. later, <laughs> we probably <laughs> will. All right. Well, it looks like uh, we finally waited long enough, uh, and uh, the uh, realistically, literally, three, four minutes. Three, four minutes. Yeah, time is subsiding. <laughs> and we were assisting it. <laughs> yeah, we did. We were doing a little finger assisting. We were. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
drinking our beers. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gonna have well, to edit that. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, like, we should start again. Yeah, <laughs> that's not gonna be good. Literally, long. okay. So uh, we're back. We're back. Time has passed. Uh, the uh, head has subsided, and uh, it's, thanks a great it's, part it's, to us. It's yeah. It's <laughs> been literally like four or five minutes. So we've got uh, dark. Almost uh, brown, wait, almost black. Yeah, almost black, kind of dark brown. An unrelenting head. <laughs> unrelenting oh wait, that's the head. next movie. <laughs> that is the next movie that we have coming out. We had ridiculously large. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Winter 2012. Yes. <laughs> it doesn't take as long for the sequels to come out with porn movies. No, it doesn't. All right. Don't swirl I'm too much. Afraid monster. of swirling. <laughs> they start up again. <laughs> Did you, did you use a counterclockwise swirl? I'm getting the co- you know what I'm getting though I'm getting like the coffee and almost like a little metal. Do you get metal? Metal like uh, like old coffee? You know that smell. Hmm. I'm getting a little spice. It's a little sugary, a little something in there. Yeah. I'm getting a little kind of like spicy note, almost like a smoked, like pepper. Yeah. Kind of thing I along with the smoke. coffee, chocolatey coffee. What's kind of hard with beers like this? Or, or difficult, I should say, is that well, something herby. For for me, just you know, with and how long we've worked with coffee, it's like as soon as you smell chocolate, usually that triggers in your mind what? When you're smelling coffee, if you're starting to smell like 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 uh, certain kinds uh, of chocolate. Uh, oh, aging. Right, right, and that's kind of what usually always first hits you out of these beers. Right. And that's not to say the coffee they were using is old. But that's just a trigger that comes up in my mind. Right. Is that like I smell? I'm like, oh, this coffee wasn't fresh. Because sometimes but slightly older co- coffee lends itself to flavoring of, uh, you know, heavier things, nuts and chocolate things like right. that. Right, we'll definitely, yeah. So that's always kind of the first thing. It's like, but it's just the natural flavors that are coming out in the right. beer that's there. Right. So beyond that, there's just some coffee aromas. I think there's a little bit of spice, and yeah, there's a little bit of what were you saying? There's a little bit of some sweet or yeah. I've had worse. I've had worse. <laughs> Come on, you pansy. It's not a ringing endorsement. Uh, yeah, a little chocolate, a little coffee. Chocolate, a little coffee. A little uh, thin. I think there's still a little spice going on. Like almost as it goes down, there's almost like some heat. There's some. You sort know, of it is reminiscent of a darker. Ver- not reminiscent. It makes me think of a darker version of the Fade to Black 3. Okay, so the that chili little, pepper porter. Yeah, the little chili pepper mm-hmm. porter, that yeah. little bit of spice. Yeah, and, there's a little bit of that in there. Almost like cinnamony and mm-hmm. spicy in there, yeah. And I don't know if that's maybe somewhat from the coffee, maybe how they roasted it, or maybe there is something else in there, too. The can doesn't really tell too much. And I get a little uh, upper palate heat, too. I know you yeah. were saying going down. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. All right. But it's actually not bad, but the finish is kind of, yeah. uh, the finish is a little bitter. A little bitter, sour. A little bit, yeah. Sour going into bitter, it seems like to me, which kind of... Some of that could be the heat, though, from the... Could be. The pepper, because it's kind of hitting me back there and sort of going up and down. So, yeah. No, that could be a little bit of that, too. I'm actually surprised. I don't know if it was it's worth the It's better than weight. the aroma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't know if it was worth the wait. There was good entertainment value, though, in that... I, I I I just I have never seen that before. <laughs> Where I mean, unless you intentionally go, you know, and, yeah, but even and try to, I, and even that, yeah. it usually dissipates a little faster than that. I mean, that glass was a hundred percent foam, and you can kind of tell that when you drink it too. There seems like there's a lot of there's some good amount of carbonation. We were talking earlier in the week about the homebrew that I had made, but that even has like yeah, that. You know what? The more I think about it, the more I taste it, the more we discuss it. It makes me think more of that chili that that chili pepper porter hmm. that from Fade to Black, the the thing this year. I'm not saying it's exactly that. No, because I like that one better. Yeah, and this is a, has a little bit darker notes, but definitely has has similar characteristics there. This has some like molasses toffee thing going on in there. It's right. not like the heavy. Darker, like, and it's kind of a little thin too. Yeah, no, def- I which definitely, is, which is kind of. Yeah. For a st- not that stouts can't be thin, but for some reason I'm always when I want a stout, and especially an imperial stout, I'm thinking like right. you're you're bringing something to the table, and right. and I'm also kind of surprised at the eight percent. 
for an imperial stout. That seems like a little on the lower side. Usually when I think imperial, I think yeah. you're 9, 10, 11, you know. Say. Yeah, imperial java stout. Not for use with donuts. Okay. <laughs> not for use That's with donuts. That's what it says. So. But overall, I, I think it's not bad. And for a, a, that kind of a strength beer in a can, I actually think that's not, I mean, it's yeah. not bad. It's not one, I probably wouldn't, I mean, I'm not going to rush out and get it ever. No. But it doesn't make it a zero though, does it? No. Because we're not, not recommending it. Once again, no, if someone is look, no, if someone is looking for probably, I would say almost a lighter stout, a lighter imperial. T- yeah. Like I don't know who does this, but if you're looking for a lighter imperial Java stout, like you don't want, like you want to dip your toe in that water, <laughs> I guess. It's a beginner. Well, yeah, it's like you're like step. I like an oatmeal stout, but I want a little something more, but not too much. Right. Right. You know, maybe that's kind of the thing for you. Like I said, in the beer, the you know, the, being in the can, that's always kind of the interesting. Once again, thing we're for always us. looking for that. Yeah, yeah we're always looking yeah. for that. So. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely it's definitely unique. The coffee flavor itself, I think, when you're actually drinking it, is much better than like that one that we had. The what was the one? That, that was, was an old Lagunitas one. The cappuccino. It was the cappuccino espresso stout yeah. or something like that. That was. And that just that smelled really like smelled coffee. like it, and it tasted like old coffee. Yeah, yeah. It tasted like really old coffee. Like you know, this doesn't have the taste. Uh, there was something in the aroma that gave me that, like that you said, the chocolate. Me. Right. Yeah. To me, a little bit, a little bit of metal, which is, is one of my earlier, um, associations with smelling of old coffee. Okay. Um, it went, that was one of my, I think I've probably talked about this on a podcast before when we, the, the stir flex was still in storage and there was all, you know, the little pieces that fall. Oh off. yeah. Yeah. And then he, he's like, smell that. And I smelled that. He's like, that's the smell of old coffee. And so to me, uh, that takes me back to that, but it it's not in the taste. It's a little bit in the aroma. No, the yeah, taste. I don't think it's in the taste at all. There's yeah. a little spicy. There's a little co- sweet. I, yeah, little I think I think it's lips. actually it is actually very unique. It's just you know, is that are those flavors that you're looking for? Right, and that will be up to the uh, listeners that head on over to the website at aboutbeverages.com and uh, check out the tasting notes for this Imperial Java Stout from Santa Fe Brewing Company in a can, and uh, find out where it hits on our recommendation scale. Right. And while they're there, uh, you can uh, definitely uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on Twitter, become a fan of us on Facebook. We're uh, we're everywhere. We're on Untapped. I'm always checking in on Untapped with the different beers that I'm having throughout the week. Uh, the drink database is always going strong. I don't know. Did you uh, get to anything while you were on vacation? I, I can tell by the look that that is a no, but he will be getting to it very soon. That's right. I must. That'll I be must his commitment. That's right. See now we my made commitment it. to you. My commitment to you, our listener. But whether you like it or not, we will give it a shot. What? No. (laughs) Whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot.